Nowadays, good things don't necessarily come to those who wait, but rather to those who work their butts off and never give up. This is true for rising sundown star Samuel Julies, whose talent for the beautiful game was spotted at an early age. I started in the School of Excellence, so from there, I think the coaches believed in me, they saw my potential and they just selected me to come to the development year, the team. The development was actually nice. The coaches always told us just to stay humble, to relax and just work hard. Everything will come into place one day and finally it did. In January, Samuel was invited by Coach Nieskins to join the first team's mid-season training camp in Pulukwani, which is no mean feat for a development player. It was nice for me because I've been waiting for that and I've been working hard on my own. On top of that, I was preparing myself for the future as well and that camp helped me a lot because I had to also like gain experience from the coaches, advice and instructions and for how the players handle themselves and how I should also handle myself and how I should approach the professional level. I think maybe the coaches like my skill, maybe my technique and the way I think and uh, my hard work. I just don't give up, I always work hard. In line with the club's policy for developing talent within Sundowns, Samuel and four others were promoted to the first team recently. It was like a dream come true. I always had that thing at the back of my mind that one day I will actually play for the first team and that's why I just worked hard and I was waiting actually for that moment so they can just like tell me you want to join the first team. I feel very happy like representing the team because I've been supporting the team before I could play for it and eventually it came through that I played for the team and I'm very happy for that. The academy is tasked with preparing the stars of tomorrow so that they fit in seamlessly into the first team structure. A job well done in Samuel's case. It wasn't difficult for me to adjust, to play around, to one to football, it's to shine and piano because if you come here it's easy to adjust to the first team because it's basically the same thing we do. Joining a team full of stars is usually a daunting task but this is not necessarily the case at Sundowns. The guys welcome me with a very warm welcome. They didn't look down on me, they just told me to play the way I was playing in the development and work hard and to grow as a player. Julie sees the promotion to the first team as an opportunity for him to hone his skills and learn from the talent that surrounds him. For me it's something, it's something great because I learn a lot from them and I just have to learn from the ex experience they have and apply it on the field so I can also grow as a player. So I just have to listen attentively and stay focused and just work hard. And who better to mentor him than a coach who as a player has graced every international stage football has to offer. Coach Nessens is a great coach for me because he believes in youngsters as you can see and you always motivate us just to stay grounded, do your best, be level-headed, don't think you're better than anyone. Just play the way you play and everything will come into place. Samuel made his debut for Sundowns in his hometown in front of his family and wrote his name in the history books as part of the team that slaughtered Powerlines FC 24-0. If I'm maybe in a team, there's a lot of chances that I might get a run, so I was prepared for that. There's one chance of my first touch where I came one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. Unfortunately, he read my mind pretty well and I missed it. But the second one, uh, we just pressurized the defenders and I caught the ball and I came one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. So I already made up my mind and I just chopped it over him. My brother told me my mom was actually jumping in the VIP because she was overwhelmed and very happy. And I was also happy because I can see that maybe I'm making a proud, you know, and I must keep on working hard and just do my utmost best because I'm representing my family and my town. So it's basically that I must just work hard and always stay level-headed and do my best and just focus. My game plan is just to stay focused on the field and to help my teammates because we all need each other. We just have to motivate each other, stay focused, attack as a team, defend as a team and just be a family. That's basically my game plan and just do my best. Having successfully worked his way through the ranks, what advice does Julie's have for the youngsters who've enrolled at the academy this year? The only thing that I can tell them is that they must always stay focused and they must always bring their A game to wherever they play, training, you never know who's watching. So you have to do your best every time and take everything serious. We wish the young midfielder Julie's the best of luck in his travels with the first team.